All right, thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. I have been mad, crazy, busy, so sorry I couldn't get this uh, video uploaded any sooner than I am now. Um, as I'm loading, uh, doing this video, um, the market is already open and the market's already down substantially. Um, Pre-market activity showed that the futures was down. 200 points before the market even opened, basically. Of course, that's going to drag the market down with it. Um, talking heads were saying that, you know, because of the FOMC meeting yesterday, blah, blah, blah. The bottom line is that's, that has nothing to do with it. People wanted to take profit and sell and uh, liquidate their long positions. That's what this is about. If it was a true, uh, a, a true sell-off in every sense of the word, it wouldn't just be longs liquidating, it would be people looking to put on uh, short positions as well. I don't really see that. So let's do this. Let's first get into the in play for the day, which none of these will probably get filled, and then we'll look at other things, okay? Here we go. First off, we have BP. Now, those of you who've been following me, uh, you should have been able to make some, some decent money off of shorting BP. This first line here, it's showing green. When I was... I was trying to have them edit it, but it should be red. But you can, you know, it's red because right here the sell short. You see the one there. That means it's short. Uh, so BP coming in to um, to the trading session for Wednesday, August the 11th, was a selling short at 39.33 with a stop at 40.29. And BP right now, as I do this video, is trading at 38.86, down a buck 25. So as you can see, it's already in the money. The next one was a long on crude oil futures going long at 81.74. Um, it's nowhere near crude oil right now is at 78.79, so that one probably won't get filled today. The next one is long uh, the British pound forex at 159.16. Um, that one's nowhere near it either. Uh, it's down almost 200 pips, moving in tandem with the stock market. All right, the next four here are all red, and those are selling shorts. Goldman Sachs is a selling short at 153.10. Currently, Goldman Sachs right now is trading at 150.98. You see how the Vulcan report works? NASDAQ futures, NASDAQ 100, selling short at 1881.29. Right now, NASDAQ is at 18.54, down 45. That's in the money. Next one, New Zealand dollar forex shorting at 71.61. On the New Zealand dollar forex, I don't have that price in front of me, so we'll come back to that. It's probably down to uh, the QQQ uh, Q, NASDAQ 100 selling short at 46.24. That right now is at 45.64. You can see how that's working. It's in the money. Bonds long at 101.08. Right now, the bonds are at one. Hundred dollars and forty-five cents, so it's not there yet. Has a little bit more way to go, but there you have it. That's in a nutshell. Uh, I can't stress enough to you guys. If you have those of you who haven't done so, go to the blog postscan.blogspot.com because when I don't have time to post a video, I, I at least will go ahead and upload this to the blog so you guys can have it so you can get in there and do what you need to do and handle your business. All right, so. Um, remember what I said, take what you can, give nothing back. There's nothing wrong with taking profits intraday if you make money. All right. You don't have to hold it overnight. You don't have to, you don't even have to hold it to the close. Just make your money and get the heck out of there. All right. Live the trade another day. That's all I've got to say. And until next time.